done, so I thought I'd update you. I hope you can hear me okay. There's lots of background noise and water noise and stuff. But Ainsley is asleep inside, so. So I haven't updated you in a couple days. Basically, felt fantastic, been able to sleep fine. Um, I did have a bit of lower back pain from sleeping like on my back so much, but I've kind of gone past that and I feel all right now. Every day the boobies look a little bit better and they just feel tender every now and then, otherwise they feel completely fine. They've healed really well. Today we went to the hospital and I've got some footage um, that I'm going to do in the next video, which is of the stitches coming out and like what the scar looks like and all that kind of thing. So that'll be my next video and I'll put it up really, really soon after this one. Um, but the doctor said that everything helped, has healed really well. I've got no bruising whatsoever, so that's pretty good. Um, he's really happy with the way they're healed. He's teaching us how to massage them now. Um, and I've only got a little bit of swelling left on the very tops of my boobs. So I've got a few more medication pills to take, but I've almost finished them all. I've just got a few anti-inflammatories, like morning pills and like two days worth of antibiotics still so I've almost gotten through them all which is really really good. I'm going to do like a separate video on my surgeon in the hospital and my whole experience because I am so impressed and my surgeon was the nicest guy, so professional, he knew everything, he was so lovely and did like an amazing job like I've got no bruising and my scar is like so perfectly like straight and small and as soon as it's healed it's going to be fine. I put up a picture on Instagram of us in the pool well, me in the pool, but I was not under the water, like, my boobs haven't been under the water at all. Some people are like, oh, you're not even supposed to be in the sun for a month and blah blah blah, but I don't know about you guys, like, maybe that's what your surgeon said, but my surgeon said it's fine. Um, just no sun exposure to my scar for six months, because obviously the scar will, like, not fade very well, and I can't go in the pool for two more days, so... Monday I can go under the water completely. So I've just been going up to like my waist, my tummy in the water just to cool down. I mean sunbathing and everything but um, we've had like waterproof band-aids and stuff like that over top of the scars so that they don't go nasty. We did a whole lot of exploring, we were out and about like all day yesterday, completely fine, didn't feel sick really, um, just get really tired by the end of the day but I think that's just due to the heat and just walking around a lot. Okay so I'll do a booby shot so you can see for yourself, they are a bit more tan today because they have been tanning. Um, that's what they look like. So you can see that they're starting to drop and come together a tiny little bit, so they're just settling down, they're not so round and out there on my chest. Um, squishier again, and I think, I don't know, do you guys even care like how to massage them? I don't know if that's useful or not, but I could do a different video on how he said to massage them, but pretty much you have to like squeeze them like this and round in circles, push on the top, push them up, push them in, and you basically have to do it for about, like you do each one for about, um, 10 seconds, 10 times or so. It takes about half an hour in the morning, half an hour at night. In the morning they are a bit more tender and stiff, um, I suppose just because you've been asleep and they haven't been moving. At night time they're a lot more like movable so there we go and from the side you can see all my rolls, I'm sorry. The bloating is almost gone um, because if you've been watching all of these series you'd know that I was super bloated like I looked about three kilos heavier than I actually am. Um, but it's almost gone now. I've just got like a little bit of bloating left, which I think is just because my metabolism's been slowed down and everything since I've been taking pills. So, like that. I am so happy with them, and he's just put a little plaster on top of the scars just for today that we can remove tomorrow um, just with some like healing stuff on them and the stitches didn't hurt at all coming out like at all so you'll see in my next video I'll probably upload it like ASAP so if I can manage to upload it straight after this one I will otherwise it'll be up in like a day or so so now I'm just gonna update you like maybe once a week or so on how they look and how everything's going and yeah um, I'm going to do a video on the stitches next as I said, I'm going to do a video on the surgeon and hospital I went to and I'm also going to do a question and answers video so if you've got any questions um, maybe follow me on Facebook and I'll write a status on Facebook, my link is down below and I'll ask you guys what you want to know and I'll like answer them all in one video. So yeah, hope this helped and thanks so much 
all the support. I love going onto my videos and just reading all your comments. I've read like every single comment on every single video I've done. Um, I haven't been able to comment everyone back. One, because the internet's dodgy, and two, because there's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comments. But I have been reading them all, and I've been reading all your messages on Twitter and everything. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Have a really good day. Bye.